Hello students. Today we are going to start a new chapter constructions of triangles. As we all know a triangle has three sides, three angle. This is a triangle ABC. It has three sides AB, BC, AC and angles angle ABC. Let us recall some properties. Sum of angles of a triangle is 180 degree. That the sum of all these three angles, the sum is 180 degree. A triangle has six components, three sides, three angles for construction. But we, for construction of triangle, we need three components. Construction of triangle when first condition we have to discuss that is SSS. S stands for side. When all the three sides are given to us, that is by SSS triangle construction. The second is SAS side angle side when two side and included angle is given to us for triangle construction. ASA angle side angle when two angle and the included side is given for construction. And the fourth is RHS right angle hypotenuse side this construction is possible only in right angle triangle where we get right angle hypotenuse and one of the side now coming to worksheet 1 of chapter 10 first question construct a triangle lmn in which lm the side 5 cm mn 5.6 cm and nl 4.2 cm First of all, we are going to draw its rough sketch. What rough sketch is? As I have drawn one triangle here roughly, I am going to write the name of the triangle which I have to construct LMN. It's your wish. Which vertex you want to take on which side? You can take M, L, N, whatever. It's up to you. All the three measurements of the sides are given. Just write it down. But MN is 5.6 cm. LN is 4.2 cm and LM is 5 cm. What this rough sketch gives us, just it gives us the idea of type of triangle which is formed after construction. Okay, after construction, we will get this type of triangle. Now, if we look at the rough sketch, now we know what which side I have to take as a base side, MN. I have already drawn MN is equal to 5.6 cm. Now, this side is ML, that measurement is given to us 5 cm. Open your compass with the help of ruler 5 cm as I am doing it right now. As the measurement is LM, taking M as a center and draw the arc freely. Because the name of the side is ML, LM, so M is on the base, so taking M as a center. Open the arc, uh, compass 5 cm and draw this free arc. Now the second, third side is NL. The measurement of NL is 4.2 cm. Name is NL. So N should be the base. Taking N as a base. Open the compass 4.2 cm. Keeping the tip of your compass at point N and draw the arc. Which cut the previous arc at a point. That point is L. Now we got the point L. Join LM and LN. LM is 5 cm and NL is 4.2 cm. Now the next question draw an equilateral triangle. One of the whose side is 5 cm. Equilateral triangle as we all know that all the three sides of an equilateral triangle are equal. So this is just a rough sketch. The naming is not given so it's up to us which name we want to take. I have taken ABC and we know that equilateral triangle whose all the sides are of same measure that is 5 cm. I have taken this base BC as 5 cm with the help of ruler. Now, again, this side is also 5 cm. This side is also 5 cm. So, you have to open your compass with the help of ruler 5 cm. 5 cm, taking B as the center. Draw the arc because the side AB is 5 cm. Now, taking C as the center, 
draw the arc which cut the previous arc because AC is also 5 cm and the point where both arc intersect this point is A point because B and C already we have taken as base and join AB and AC. So this is an equilateral triangle whose measure all the sides are of same measure and end angle angle each angle of equilateral triangle is 60 degree. Next, draw a triangle PQR in which PQ is equal to 3, QR 4 and RP 5 centimeter. Now, again, the rough sketch PQR measurement should be written QR 4 centimeter, PQ 3 centimeter and RP 5 centimeter. Now, QR I have already taken as base 4 centimeter. Now, this side is PQ. So, open your compass 3 centimeter. With the help of ruler, taking Q as a center, draw the arc. Now this side PR is 5 cm. Open your compass, that is 5 cm. PR is given, the point P is here. So we will take R as a center and draw the arc. Which cut the previous arc at a point, that point is P. Join PQ and QR. What type of triangle you have seen there? Here, it is a right angle triangle. Now, the next step is draw the perpendicular bisector of side PQ. This PQ is 3 cm and PR is 5 cm. How to draw the perpendicular bisector? Just look at the measurement of the side PQ that is 3 cm. Open your compass more than half of PQ. Half of PQ is 1.5 cm. Around 1.82 cm, open your compass and taking Q as a center, draw the arcs on one side of this PQ and on the other side of the PQ. Dono taraf aap bache arc lagayenge. Now PQ ka karna hai. Now taking P as a center, again the same procedure will be followed. Draw the arc on the both side. That two arcs cut each other. As I have shown in this figure, these two arcs cut each other. Join this arc with the dotted line. This line shows the perpendicular bisector of the side PQ. Jis bhi side ka karna hai, uske measurement ke half se jada compass ko hai, beta. Next, is it possible to construct a triangle whose sides are 3 cm, 6.1 and 2.6 cm? Now the question is in the form of a question. Is it possible? We know that in this question you are going to write, uh, write that. We know that sum of two sides of triangle we have done already this property. Sum of two sides of triangle is greater than third side. Now, which two side you have to take? Among three, the shorter one. 3 plus 2.6. The sum is 5.6. Is it greater than the third side which is given to us 6.1? No, it is less than 6.1. So, no construction is not possible. The sum of two sides is always greater than the third side. So, we will say construction is not possible. So, home assignment for today. Do worksheet 1, chapter 10.